Right guys, so I'm literally just about to go drop my gear off to go to Serbia for the world champs. So here it is, and I thought I'd give you a quick run through what I take with me on these sort of competitions. Obviously it looks quite a lot of gear, but when you break it down, it's not really that much when you've got to think, got to cover all eventualities. We've never been to this venue, we don't really know much about it, so we've got to have all options covered, but we've got to be realistic because it's all got to go in a van basically. So, starting obviously main thing, seat box, and side tray. I only take one with me, I know some people like two, but I fish every week with one side tray, so I don't like to change things up too much because I like to be comfortable and just fish it as if it's any other match and be relaxed. So I keep one side tray, and then I've got my rigs, so moving down here, it's my stacker, and in this I've got every rig to cover every eventuality. So we start at top, the main ones that I think I'll be using are my powers and my carries, but you never know, I've got bloodworm floats in there, we've got some perfects in there, we've got some shippers, a bit of everything, move that down, all the way down, so then my bleak rigs, some pencil floats, and then my next one, flat floats. So that's it, you just don't know what we're gonna need to use, but in here covers everything, so spent quite a lot of time prepping rigs. There they all are, and they fit underneath my box, so I don't need a right high stacker, that goes under there and it's just all a little bit more compact. Moving round, so I've got my bait bag, so this is everything to do with my bait. So in here, as you can see we've got towels, like towels cover things up obviously your hands just like a lot of towels. Got a couple more bucket lids so they're quite good just to keep everything dry obviously it's going to be red hot out there so we need to keep it all covered up, stop it drying out and it also stops people seeing what you're using so a bit sneaky. And then in here got tubs, tubs, more tubs little bloodworm measures, don't know if many of you have seen them before, but that's an official measure, so all your bait in the world champs is measured out, and that's as much bloodworm as what you're allowed in one of them. Pots, and a few more pots, use them for chopping worms, obviously cupping in, if you lose out, you need to have it all with you. Got some EVA bowls, some sieves, a bit of tape, as you'll see, most of my gear, or all of it's got a bit of orange tape on that's just because when it's all on the van when they pull off they don't need to be like whose is this whose is this they see orange tape and they know that it's mine and it goes to my peg which is quite a good way atomizer and then we've got some official measures so a bit like them china dolls that all stack inside each other they're all stacked and that's the bait that you're allowed to use so it's all measured out in world championships and you can't just use what you want you've got to measure it all out so Put these away nicely because like i say it's off soon so i don't want to be repacking it all before i go put that there i've got a blood worm riddle in there we'll have to keep this bait all sorted then move around just bring you this one so this is all my spares so obviously i'll have to make some rigs out there change some elastics tie some more rooks so that's all in here i'm not going to undo it all but as you can see my elastics are all at top Got spare elastics and connectors in here. I'll open it just so you can see. I've got drop down, so I've got hooks in one, I've got short spare scissors, everything like that. And then in the top, I've got all my floats. So every float that I might need if I break them or if I want to tie some different ones, they're all in there as well. So this little bag here has got everything in that I need basically to make more rigs. So that's that side. Moving on, this big bag. Obviously, most of you have seen one of these. If you open this, this just keeps all my rollers and all my bankware together. So I've got waterproofs. We're off to Serbia, it's 37 degrees, but we're English and we don't leave home without them. <laughs> so that's my coat and my trousers. Got a support arm. Normally, don't use one of these, and normally, my side tray is fine, but if you're using like leans and a lot of it, it's best just to prop it up obviously I can't just nip home and get another one so I'd like to take care of it when I'm out there because if it breaks I'm knackered basically. I'm sure one of the other girls would lend me one but just take one of them just in case. Balling in arms, I like the sliding ones so obviously we fish on quite a lot of rivers and stuff so you can 
position you pull, where I want to ball into. Put it in them. I've got my support bar, rollers, roosts, everything like that goes in here. So put these back. And then in the front, we've got some other bits. So I've got my keeping it arm, got a spare roost in there. I've got long legs, so if for whatever reason the bank's really steep in parts, you put two front long legs in, just levels your box up a bit because we're not taking any platforms. So that's that bag. Move on to this net bag. You can see the mono nets. So we use them abroad, a lot lighter. Not allowed them over here, so they stay in that bag. So I've got a few of them. And then in here, I've got two keep nets that are four metres long. Obviously, we don't normally use four metre nets over here, but the rules are that you've got to have four metre nets over there. Obviously, sometimes it's a bit shallow. So you want a long net, keep the fish safe. They're the rules. So you only need one net, but we take two, obviously. If you get a hole in one, you've got a spare. So that's that bag. This bag, this is my tackle bag that I take with me every week on the canal or commercials, wherever I go. And in here we've got some sliders. We've got my hooks, so I've got quite a few hooks. Got me one of them pole holder tube things. Lots of catties, more catties, spare catties. Catapult elastics, I've got some spare elastics. I've got bungs for ending my pole just because I'm sat with it between my legs all the time and nobody wants nipping between the legs with a pole. So, shove a bung in. I've got plenty of the new oh, Preston ground bait catties. They'd be mega when I've been out practicing. And then some little pots and a little bag of, or a little EVA thing of bits like what are they, Vaselines and float tip paint and rod roofs rest and things some scissors like i say little bits of everything in here getting it all back in Got polaroids seen fruit water yep so that's that bag bits of everything in there just keep it separate from my bait so i know my tackles in here all my bait stuff's in there and then last but not least I'll just take my tray off so I can get over here. Is the rod bags. So I'm not going to get all these out to show you, but in here I've got my waggler rods. Can have a quick look, I suppose. So there are on the centrises. So I've got the set of plumbing rod, which plums the depth, which I've put on a, a magnitude reel just 10 pound line you're not fishing with it it's literally to find the depth and then i've got centrises and then the superior rods i've got the lighter ones i think the three to ten grams for the fixed waggler and then the slightly heavier ones for the slider like i say i don't know what we'll be using so i've got sliders in one side wagglers in other so that's that and then i've got two of these xl cases so I'll open one just so you can see how it's all laid out. I don't know what's in this one. In one of them I've got my poles. So I take three poles away with me. So this one's got poles, top kits. So I've got quite a lot of top kits in there, all set up with different elastics. Like I said, I've got more elastic with me if I need to change them. Probably will after. I've got dolly butts. I've got a cut down section in there from an old pole because it's got to be bang on 11 and a half metres. So there's no saying, well, I stopped fishing here. It's literally got to cut the section um, and wrap the end. So they're all done. Spare landing net handles. And then in the other one, I've got top sixes. So I've got a few spare top sixes in case I break a section and my whips. So yeah, that's it. That's my gear, all ready to go. Hopefully I can do your updates while we're out there, put a video out and you'll be able to keep in touch. Cheers guys.